put the into new layer. I just don't want to screw up the original. So here. All right. So the thing is, this is rather strange. But if I run this one, okay, so that that one. Usually I would if they if I had a here surface like I did on I can click that one. On the the main model then I would click choose the here surface here anyway, grow and nothing happens. Why? Why is that? Oh, because the fiber length here, I don't know, it's calculated by default somehow. Kind of strange. So I'll set to zero. So I'll set that to I don't know, 55 centimeters, something like that. So let's do 20 guides. I'm going to add a guide based on these uh, fibers. So you can then. Now the control here is screwed up. So if I rotate that direction, it will go in that other direction, holding down Alt here. So it's is the opposite of of modeler, which is dumb. Anyway, someone forgot that. Okay, so um, so I just can't get used to that. But um, hopefully they, they fix that and. And then your version. Okay. Okay, so something like that. But the thing now is, you know, you might think that you made this UV bias because you bent those hair straws. No, they don't affect the, the bias at all. The only thing that will affect the bias is. If you adjust the UV bias right here, which is kind of like strange actually. So if I do this now, or rather if I didn't do that, if I just left it alone, like not moving it, no vertex color would be made. So I have to move this one and hit OK. And I should have, if I go to, yeah, if I go way down here, I got a here normal map. I need to add that one under advanced ankle map. Here normal, oh, there we go. Okay, that didn't work before <laughs> when I, let's see if that happens now. When I click this one, it would, Lightwave would delete it. So it was a bug in 11.6. So, If you're in 11.6, I would advise you to, after having hitting fiber effects and OK, then um, then you should just uh, save straight away. So that's what I'm going to do now. I don't need these uh, guides and stuff, so I delete them because that all I need is just that. All right, so. Let's save this, and uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but hopefully it will. Okay, so send the object to layout. And there we are, showing that uh, nice uh, bias map. Processing add fiber filter fiber effects and we're um, going to go with it should be this one I guess activate that one activate I don't know why I can't just I don't know I have to hit the layer and activate I can't just click here for some reason I'm gonna click this one to see what's going on. And hey, what do you know? Something will happen. Uh, I'm just gonna lock into that here. Oh, it's not locking into that here because the 
It's looking into that um, pivot position, damn it. Yeah, anyway, so go like that. I guess it would be just easier for me to create a null right here and focus on that one. So then I rotate. Yeah, that was better. Click, unclick, and move. Okay, so back to this object here. Uh, this object here. I'm gonna do some adjustments. It's, um, I think this is way too much. Come on, five. Yeah. Just set this priority to zero. Where the heck is the length? Maybe that's the length. I don't know. Um, okay. So something like that. Need to. Still quite a lot. Uh, I need to. Uh, Go way down on that one. Yeah. Well, it's I'm I'm having such a small number here because this is such a small uh, uh, area. So let's see here. Uh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to go with this bias map. Did I attach the bias map? Did I activate it? And oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So it's working. Hundred. So okay, it's working. Sort of, but you can see that it's it did create the the it did create it based on. The buy CV did not base it on, or so it seems. Let's see. Actually, I'm not quite sure if it, it if it if it's using the guides as well as the UV map. But you have to create that uh, UV bias, or you have to tweak that in order to get this to work. I think, unless the bug caught me there, that uh. That it didn't work because um, because of the bug. Anyway, 